Yo, what is going on, everybody? Thanks for tuning back into another Madden Films video. First off, I wanted to start by saying I love the all the support I've been getting lately. I appreciate all the comments. You guys let me know what you think of the videos and all the new subscribers. And uh, if you are new and you haven't subscribed, yet, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. Once we hit 100 subscribers, I'm going to do a giveaway too for you guys. So hit that subscribe button if you're new. The giveaway will be I'll open up packs and whatever want the highest card I pull, put up with the trade block and trade away to somebody randomly for you guys for free or I can just you know should I buy a decent card for you guys and you know just sell it off in the trade block show my appreciation for you guys but if you're new around here make sure you hit that subscribe button but I got another uh, coin making method for you guys today and it involves the team of the year again so you're either gonna pretty much break even or you're gonna make mad amount of coins so it's just kinda you really don't you're not going to really lose out on coins doing it. It's pretty much break even. And I'm going to go through it and I'm going to do one right here, right now for you guys. So I'm going to do that. But I'm going to talk to you guys, walk you through it, how you got to do it, and what you got to do. But you want to go to the team of the year set. Try out the team of the year defense. You need an 87, you need an 88 to 89. Pretty much just the lower cards. So like you need an 87, you need an 89, you need a 91, two 91s, and a 93. So that's what you want to do. You need all those five cards. You want to go and get these and build these for cheap. Get the cheapest ones you can get. Go through the auction house, you know, kind of just keep refreshing, going through, sniping, and getting the cheap ones here. And you build the card up, then you sell it. Watch here, I'll show you. Let's go team of the year defense. Show you what the cheapest card up is. Team of the year. I'm going to go 96 to 97. Go to that team. You want to go to all defense. And the cheapest one is 304,000 for a Minka Fitzpatrick up there as the first option. And then you got Clayus Campbell and Zadarius Smith. Now you start pulling a Grady Jarrett and up. Yeah, Grady Jarrett and up, I'd say. It's when you're pretty much you're starting to make coins. The Minka Fitzpatrick, Clayus Campbell, you kind of, as you see, you can just sell. He sold right there, so now it's 309 for a Minka. But these ones, you kind of, these ones will probably be more of a break even if you get these ones. So you just break even, or whatever. Try again. But now, if you pull a Grady Jarrett and above, I mean, Grady Jarrett still might be, uh, you know, kind of break even. But now, like, if you pull a Tredavious and, like, Tredavious pretty much an up. And Jamal Adams, a Keekly, obviously. You get the uh, Dominic and Sue, or not the Dominic and Sue, my bad, Aaron Donald. Now, see, now you're really talking profit. So you that's what you're hoping for is to get that Aaron Donald. That really make you profit. Either way, you're not losing out coins. You're just breaking even hoping to make that big amount. So what you want to do is just, you know, put it on all. And to get the 93s that you need, you just obviously just put it to 92, 93. And... I do it by going to the Super Bowl pass here, or present, either one. Pretty sure. Yeah, right, present. Yeah, so what you want to do is just go, you know, team by, like, Chiefs. Just keep flipping back and forth between Chiefs and 49ers. And you want to find one that's, like, eh, I'd say, like, 110, 150, or 105, something like that. I mean, you could buy it for 116 if you have to, you know. But that's what you want to do for that one. We'll come back to that one because I don't really see any up. And I'll show you how you get the other ones right now. So you want to do like, you obviously need 91s. You need 91s. You need 291. So you want to get them for like 60k-ish or less, you know. Flip back and forth between these teams here too. Chiefs, 49ers, like there, boom, 58k. Buy that up. We'll try to quickly buy that one for 59k too if we can. So I'm going to add these into my calculator too for you guys. And I'll uh, show you how much we make, so like how much it costs to do it. So, so far we're up to 117,000 coins for those two cards there. And now we need a 89. So I do the same thing, kind of stick to this rule present or past and go back and forth between these teams here. See which one you can get for the cheapest. I try and get these for like 30. 7,000 at last, maybe 36, 35 would be better if you can get it for that. That's probably what you would want to look at, get that type of price. 
Yeah, right there. 35k. Boom. We'll buy that one. Oh. No, you can't buy that one. Oops, my bad, guys. That We'll put that one back up for auction. You need 89. Looking too quick, Gore. Made me uh, think that was... Uh, we're not going to count that one. Don't buy the 88s like that. Make sure it's the 89s. Just throw them up there. I'll sell real quick. Obviously going to lose little coins there now doing that, but... So there isn't 89s for this, that's right. So you don't, you can't do Super Bowl past. You need obviously to do like Super Bowl present or something else. So 37k, yeah we could buy that one. But are we gonna, uh, let's see if we can get a little cheaper somewhere. Cause I mean you can see these are all like 59 minutes and people are just throwing these cards up. You just get lucky, find them for really cheap. I mean, even the Legends maybe might go for cheaper, it just depends. Nah, I mean, yeah, I'd probably stick with the Super Bowl present. Probably the cheapest, because people are just throwing cards up. You could go on other things, but, you know, we'll go to the Chiefs one more time here, and then that will buy. Alright, it's 37000 for that one. We got our 89 now, so we'll add that to the total. We're up to 154,000 coins right now. And now we need an 87. So I'd stick to doing this again. Just stick with these cards here. This is super present. 15k is about what you'd want to pay for these. 15k or under, I'd say. We'll do you fine. Yeah, let's go back and get that Chiefs one then real quick for 15k. Just want to check the 49ers. Still be there, please. Oh, it's not there. Yeah, yeah you got to be quick with them, though. Kind of. If you see it for 15k, just buy it. Because now, that one's obviously gone, so we're going to have to pay 800 coins more, probably. Yeah. You could keep going and, you know, filtering more. You don't have to go as quick as I am. I'm just doing this for you guys so you guys can see in the video, you know, how this really works. But So now we're up to 169,000 coins right now is what it's cost us to do. Then all we need is a 93. So now you just want to sit here and kind of filter your way around, find that cheapest 93 you can get. And I seen it for 105,000 literally just before I was doing this video. Like just before I started recording, I seen it one for 105,000. Should have bought it there, but even 115 I guess isn't too bad as long as you can get everything else for cheap. Because I mean... Like I said, it's a matter of if you pull right there, 108, we'll buy that one. That's good enough. 108,000, that's good. We'll add that to the total here. That cost us 277,000 coins to do that. 277,000 coins to build these set, set up right now. Took us. Okay, it's still there. Alright, yeah, it took us 277,800 coins in order to be able to do a team of the year defense set. So now you add all these cards in here and now you just hope that you're gonna pull that Aaron Donald or James, Jamal Adams or uh, Luke Keekley. But if you don't you're still you're not you're not doing bad if you don't still because like I said you're, you're pretty much just breaking even then. By the time you sell for like 310,000, you're just breaking even. That's why this method is good, because if you hit big, you're making a 100k profit almost. But if you don't, you're just breaking even, you can do it again. Now let's back out and let's open this team of the year defensive pack for you guys. Let's just see who we can get. Let's hope for that Aaron Donald, Jamal Adams, or Luke Keekley. Come on. Let's see it, EA. Give it to us. Clayus Campbell. All right, we got Clayus Campbell. Not bad. Not the one that's gonna really make you much coins, but pretty much just break even there. But you know, we broke even. We get our things back. We can do this again. I'm not gonna do it again in this video now for you guys. But look, 310. We paid 277,000 to make this. I mean, we might even. I don't know. I can't really do math that quick. 10. Th I don't know. 10% off. Like 309,000 coins is what I'll put them up for. If we'll even make. Either way, we're going to make like a couple of K profit or we're pretty much just breaking straight up even. So that's what I mean, guys. This this method is a little bit 308. 
Try and get him out of here. 308. 308,000. How do we just make 75,000 coins up there? Oh, yeah, our gore. So, oh, yeah. So, okay, so whatever. But So, you know what I mean, guys? 277,000 coins to build that team of the year set. We pull the Calais Campbell. He sells for 310. You're pretty much making a few coins, breaking even. If you pull Jamal Adams, a Luke Keekly, or Aaron Donald, you're making big time profit. So, this method is really good, guys. You know, if you got the coins and you have high enough coins to do this, I'd do this right now. Jump on it and just keep refreshing those Super Bowl pass because, you know, everybody, or Super Bowl present because everybody's just ripping packs and opening them and throwing them up there. And look at that. Clayus Campbell already sold. So we'll click here, back out, and see how much we got for him. See if we did make coins exactly. 277,000 coins that we got back. So, yeah, literally broke even. We straight up broke even. So. <laughs> Straight up broke even. Good enough. Now we broke even. We could do it again. And hopefully you make coins the next time. So you're either breaking even guys or you're not. Or you're going to make coins. So like I said do this method is really good right now. You know just make sure you check the prices. Don't just whip right in there and start doing it. Come in there cautiously and make sure. Take your time. Find the cheapest cards you can snipe them. And you're going to make yourself a lot of profit doing this right now. So hope you guys enjoy the video. Make sure you subscribe if you're new. Because we got that giveaway coming up once we hit 100 subscribers. Um, that's going to be it, guys. Catch you guys in the next video. I'm out.